TIFU by telling my girlfriend some shrooms weren't effective anymore. This happened two nights ago. We're both middle-aged. I'm pretty much a sober kind of person I rarely drink. Didn't try pot until I was 50. But I tried shrooms about three years ago and it was pretty cool. So, true to my nature, I decided to go overboard and bought $200 worth. It was pretty dumb considering I rarely have impulses to do stuff like that. In that three-year span, I've only done two sessions. So there was, keyword, there, a lot left. I'm sure you can see where this is going. So a couple of nights ago, I suggested we try some since she has never done them. She drinks casually, having a glass of wine most nights, and has a history of partying with her friends on occasions. She's tried pot a few times but says it's not for her. She was actually pretty excited about trying shrooms. Initially. Again. Being me. I when I got the shrooms years ago. I also bought a mortar and pestle and some capsules in order to make shroom pills. And I still had a few left. Plus a bunch of bulk. Uncrushed. Dried mushrooms. All in a little Ziploc bag. I had initially measured the amount for the pills but had forgotten how much each capsule was. I think they were around 500,750 milligrams each? There were six left, so three for each of us. Being her first time, I thought we should start off with two each. We take them. After taking them, I looked up the expected time to feel anything because, again, I had forgotten. The internet said 3060 minutes. We wait. An hour in. I was feeling some initial effects. Which for me is a relaxed feeling with a kind of weighty. Stuffy headedness. But she was saying she felt nothing. Okay. Let's take the third one. We do. Another 45 minutes and she's still saying she feels nothing. While I do feel something, it's pretty underwhelming. So I starting looking at how long they can be stored and be effective. I find one resource that was saying something like maybe 3-6 months. Well, it had been 3 years. They must just be super weak by now. So we start munching on the mushrooms like french fries. With her saying they taste pretty good and eating the majority. We're joking around. I'm feeling pretty giddy at this point and I'm laughing my ass off at pretty much anything. We eat and then head to the couch to relax. Now she says she's feeling something. We're both laughing and laughing. Another 20 minutes go by and she looks around and gasps. OMG all the pictures are 3D. Okay, cool. She's getting some neat visuals. More laughing and remarking about what we see. While I'm seeing some minor visuals. It's nothing crazy weird shadows, 3D pictures, etc. But that's really it. For me, it was mainly just feeling really super relaxed and giddy, euphoric. I should take a second and note that I also looked up interactions that psilocybin might have with SSRIs because I take them. At least one source noted that SSRIs can decrease the effects of psychedelics. So I wasn't getting hit nearly as hard as she was. At his point, she starts sounding and looking a bit upset. This is really weird. I don't think I like this. Then she gasped and said. OMG. There's a huge, angry face in the sky outside. And look legitimately fearful. I started holding her and saying how it's okay it's just the drug. She calmed a bit but still looked unhappy. For the next several hours. I just held her and tried to be supportive and reassuring as she described seeing a lot of crazy imagery. We went to bed while she was still tripping and I made the mistake of doing my usual thing of putting on Bob Ross to help me fall asleep. At this point, I was well on my way down from the high. She told me she was seeing all these angry animals in his paintings a boar eating a deer, tarantulas, etc. I felt bad. She was pretty upset. I just held her until she went to sleep. In the morning, she said, God, I'm so glad that's over. Those are all yours. Babe. TL. 
Dear told my GF a bag of shrooms were too old to be effective and she ate half a bag and ended up having a bad trip for four hours. Edit. I thought I'd mention that it wasn't just the visuals that were getting to her. She was really unprepared for the emotional roller coaster you can get hit with on shrooms she really didn't like that. This is far from the worst thing that could have happened. I once told my buddy not to eat an entire quarter of penis envy's FPR his first time. Turn my head for one second and dude has em down. He went what I've come to refer to as primal. No ability to communicate. Nothing behind his eyes. Just gone for a while. Needless to say my trip was not as fun as it should have been because I had to be the experienced. One and babysit the newbie who didn't take my advice and ate way more than he should have. The first rule of shrooms is never take more shrooms I think that whole thing could have gone far. Worse TBF. She seems like she was a good sport about it and didn't blame you. Just remember kids, you can always eat more but you can't eat less. For future reference, if someone's having a bad trip, get them to drink some milk and put on some happy music. Like Grateful Dead, that that can't be misinterpreted the way visuals can be. Sounds like she handled it very well. When I was in Amsterdam, an employee in a shroom store said that vitamin C can help reduce the effects of shrooms if it's a bad trip. So in the future, Drinking orange juice might be able to help end the trip faster. Oldest mistake in the book. Meh I'm not feeling it. Let's eat more. Point two hours later. Look what God did to us. Quote. D. My first. And so far. Only. Experience with shrooms was a few Christmases ago. A group of five of us dosed about 34 grams of penis envy each. With the plan to watch some Star Wars Christmas special. Halfway through the movie the nausea set in and I think I started fixating on feeling so sick and was. Aggressively puking for probably 45 minutes. During this time, I 10,000% convinced myself that I had either taken too much or I had an intolerance for psilocybin. And the poison was so far in my digestive system that I was on an express train for death. No stops. I was totally okay with it though. I just kept trying to express to my BF that I was already dead. And they should all just keep enjoying their trip. Tell my mom and dad I really love them. And move on. Now my BF says I should not mess with shrooms LMFAO. I can trip on acid. DMT sass etc and have the best time of my life be totally fine but for some reason those shrooms just took me to another dimension and wrung me out not a bad experience at all but definitely a memorable one for me it's usually crying first which is like emotional purging then the intense visuals and ecstasy last time i did it i meditated as it came on and my hands were curling up like a dead spider's legs. That went away. I then experienced the emotions. Got really horned up. Screwed my wife. Then played tambourine for like an hour. After that I walked around and touched things and listened to music. I used them to reset. If you treat it like a medicine. And those images as if they are nothing to fear. Then it will heal you mentally. Next time you can just give her a THC pen that really has 5 Mio DMT in it. I hear chicks absolutely love this trick. Musical note oh, dag. I didn't mean for you to eat the whole bag. My wife and her sister are trying shrooms for the first time this weekend. Pray for me. It's her first anything. They're micro dosing to be safe. I have done loads of pot but that's it. I do plan to be sober so my bill and I can make sure they are watched in case it gets crazy. In a few weeks maybe even months she may come around. It's a lot to process all at once. Yeah. 
Shrooms can pull out all of your emotional baggage if you're carrying around any. And if you've got something you've been neglecting or ignoring it will come to the forefront of your thoughts. At least it wasn't DMT. Really struggling to believe that anyone was eating shrooms and enjoying the actual eating. But, look at the happy trees. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.